So our um, work is on the regularization of kinship relations to enrich the social networks. It's our ongoing project in uh, Harvard. So for the regional program, research and Chinese uh, very tax system. Um, I'm going to interrupt you. I think that the bandwidth isn't working, um, isn't able to handle the screen sharing. Would you mind actually stop sh stopping sharing your screen and we'll have Max do that so that way um, we can make sure that we hear you properly? Uh, can you hear me? Now I can, but it was cutting out quite a bit. So I think it will lessen the load on your um, on the connection that you have if we just kind of restart and have you only um, do the audio and if you just tell Max when to okay. uh, go to the next slide, I think that'll that'll allow us to have some more success. Okay. Yeah. It was good to test so. it, but I know that you're coming for that you're quarantined in a hotel room at the moment, and so we're just going to try to make sure sure that we can get uh, your information across. Okay. Sorry. No. Is this better? Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, thank you. So, uh, so next, next. Uh, so we we want you the uh, the simplification of the kinship relation for the Asian and Chinese people database. So right now we are building the Chinese biographical database project. Now it has over two, uh, 400 individuals and over 400 sub kinship relations in the database. But, but we, uh, we currently have more than 400 uh, kinship types in the database. It's crazy. So, uh, so how can we simplify all this uh, kinship types? Like father, uh, the relation father, we can have father, mother, uh, no, no, father, son, or daughter, or first son, second son, third son, the fifth son. That's really crazy. Um, next. And next page, thank you. So we want to simplify them to, to do other things like how, uh, to do some visualization, uh, next, and uh, ne next page, thank you. Can you hear me? Okay, next page, because I, my time is so limited. Next page, next page, next. Okay, uh, so in the database, we have many problems like, like some conflicts, like two fathers, when people may have two fathers or, uh, one person may have two genders. Um, so how to overcome these problems? Uh, next page. Thank you, next page. Next page. Okay, oh, uh, uh, back, uh, back. Okay, right here. So, uh, we, we use uh, the, the, the 52 kinship names to combine them to be father. And we, we use about 49 kinships like mother, daughter, uh, or, or, or something to combine them together to be mother. Yeah, so we have this relations. Now I'm back. Uh, okay, oh, the order is crazy. The, the, a back page, back, back. Will you come back? Oh, next. Okay, next is. Okay, just stop here. Thank you. So we just use father, mother, and sibling and Jenner. This four cancel function to do all the kinships. So here for grandfather, we, we make a test. Um, if A is cis grandfather, then 
A must be base father and B must be sis father. So this is a very important rule we have. But currently in our database, we, we found that in, uh, in the 23,000 grandfather uh, kinships, uh, there are only 3,000 tokens have the, uh, could be inferred by, by the two father relations. So, so that's unbalanced data. How can we handle this? Um, we just make assumption that if A is C's grandfather and B is C's father, then A must be B's father. So in this way, we added uh, 16,000 father relations. So uh, that's very important. Uh, next. Next page, yeah. So in this way, we can add more father and more mothers from other uh, 400 cans of kinships. Next, next page, next page. Uh, okay, here is the results. So we, we gained about 30,000 father relations from, from all the uh, 400 re re relations. We inferred from that and from mother, we, we, we gain about 1,000 and for husband, we gain about 15,000 and we corrected uh, the genders of uh, about 700 people. So this is what we got. Yeah, next, <laughs> next page. Thank you. Yeah, and in this way, we, uh, we can do uh, the family analysis based on the, the three basic father, mother, and husband relations. And so, so we can get the, 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 the family tree, we can know uh, which family, uh, the, the, the father family tree, we, we can have their generations. It's about, and for example, we, we, we have a family about 21 generation and it has over 1,000 members and its root, its ancestor is this person. Then we can ana analyze Okay, next page. Uh, the relations between the families, uh, which families are large or small in their marriages and, and how they get connected. Uh, next, next page. So, uh, um, so uh, in the future, we will re regularize more kinships and for uh, for uh, the siblings, son-in-law, adopted child like that, then our database will be better, and we we will do more in the visualization work, and maybe we will put it on, online later. Next page, I think that's over. Next page. Yeah, and we can. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Oh, man, for internet. Uh, 